What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJN. Welcome to Crunchy Wunch, a game that is entirely told in sticky notes. I kind of figured it might be kind of like a, an Emily is away kind of feel. I don't know. I don't know the story behind it. I just thought it was kind of cool as a concept to have an entire game basically told to you through sticky notes. So let's get in and try it. Let's have a look. What do we got here? I like the music. I like it. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, oh, okay. Well, cut me off. Started the new job today. Exhausted. Barely able to write. Good job. I think. One problem. Office quiet. Too quiet. And the lunch I bought is loud. Very loud. Very crunchy. Not sure what to do. Got a PB... Ooh, got a peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly sandwich. Good lunch, not loud. But problem, not enough food, needed more. So bought a snack too. Baby carrots, pretzel sticks. Weird Trader Joe's salty Peruvian corn. Oh, I get to choose. What snack do I want to bring? Ah, uh, we got, I like me some pretzels. Pretzels, boring, but dependable. Could eat a million of them. But problem. I take the first bite of of snack and... Crunch! Small office, quiet office, loud lunch. What will the boss think? New guy, loud chewer, swappy chewer. Bad at chewing, bad at job, fired! D don't think boss would actually fire. Seems too nice. But problem. No clue how to how to say nice boss's name. No how to spell Marianne. Looks easy, huh? Wrong. Everyone in the office's name is different. Yeah, Marianne. Too nice to correct anyone. Haven't seen Marianne's boss yet today who is also my boss my double boss really important man busy man the the crispest pants that's a weird thing to fucking notice about someone <laughs> oh god what if the first thing he hears is crunch he'll say Marianne who's swab crunching in the office Crunchy swab equals bad worker. Bad worker equals fired. Grab your damn pretzels and go! No double boss probably too busy to notice. Dignified man. Reminds me of grandpa. Hey! Who's chewing in my office? Please! Oh, no, too loud! Damn kids with your hip hop! <laughs> grandpa was kind man. Stern, but kind. Not much of a talker. Creepy. Taxidermy, but kind man. Picky eater. Whiskey drinker, but kind man. Pretty tolerant man, considering... Although I had things against Chinese. Didn't like their food. Plus communism. But kind man. Yeah, a bit of a racist, but he's... Yeah, he was alright. Might have voted Hillary if given the chance. But problem. Grandpa had fatal polymary embolism due to the fact of lead mutation. What the fuck? Not sure what those words mean. But God, hope disease not hereditary. But what if it is? What if I... What if I fatally pulmon- What if I fatally pulmonary embolize right now? Me equal dead before I even finish lunch? Oh god! Mental picture of Marianne at my funeral. Making small talk with my parents. Your son nice young man. 
Didn't know super well, but great resume. Actually, funny story, re your son's death. Day he died, he was eating lunch. And he crunched it so well, like a jackhammer. Everyone laughs. Now that's how I'm remembered. This is a weird game. What is the story here? I don't, I don't know. Flash forward 10 years. Dad's at dinner in Midwest. Truckers everywhere. Trucker behind him chomps some potato chips. Suddenly dad starts crying. Everyone's real worried. He says, sorry, sorry. It's just you remind me of my son. The way you crunch. More tears. Who remembers somebody? That's not what I remember about people that have passed on in my life. Not the I don't remember the way that they chewed. Oh boy, I need to make a decision. To eat or not to eat? Nobler to eat food like crunchy slob? Or to stop and suffer hunger pains? Ah, uh, don't make me choose! Food always wins. Food wins. Problem. Uh, food's still super loud. Everyone in the office heard me. Probably everyone in the building heard me. Jeff in mailroom's like, Hey, well, who's the crunching? I don't know why I made him Italian, but fuck it, we're gonna go with it. Children in Japan is like, Is he Godzilla? Children's mother like, No, no, he, he just super loud. He, you know, they, they eat their lunch loud in the US. Crunch. No problem. Me equals strong. Me equals unembarrassed. Me equals marathon runner, but for eating. Me equals Iron Man. Crunch. Mary Ann's looking at me now. Her face says, wow, what a crunch. But you know what? It's okay to crunch. We both humans here. Humans crunch. We slobber and sweat and fart too. Did you know how many moms poop during childbirth? Google it. Surprisingly calm. I don't want to Google it, Mary Ann, you fucking weirdo. Me? I took massive dump when birthing do I don't need to know this, Mary Ann. Worth it. Daughter is an angel. Point is, no need to be embarrassed by the crunch because you probably... You probably rode into world on mudslide. Ew! I look back and my face says, Thanks, Mary Ann. Needed to hear that. Not so much... Not so much the poop part, could have probably lived without that. I agree. But the rest was good advice. Ah, uh, thank you. And so I make it through the first day. Maybe tomorrow I'll bring a soft snack. Applesauce, gummy bears. Tough lunch, but I survived. Now, just gotta do the same thing tomorrow. From now until I retire. And or death. Well, fuck me, that was uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was surprisingly, like, it was a weird story, but it was meant to be weird, I think. Um, it was meant to be weird, but still, it, it kind of shows what people kind of uh, go through when starting a new job. Um, well, I guess it's what people uh, go through when they're starting a new job. Um, I remember my first day, I was nervous about everything. I was so nervous when I got to work and I was like trying to portray the best part of myself being like, okay, okay, I need to do this. This is my job. This is what I do. Blah, 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 blah. And I was so, so, I was so self-conscious about everything that I was doing when I first got into work. Um, but then after you get used to it, slowly, like all of these anxieties and stuff, I obviously, like, obviously I didn't really care about if I was crunching loud, but there were other anxieties, but you kind of get over those anxieties quickly after you've settled in for like a week, those anxieties all go away and you see everybody that you work with as kind of, I don't know, just mates that, you, that you're kind of working with. Well, if you're working with a good team, you'll see them as mates or, or something like that. So you guys can actually have some camaraderie and um, chat a little bit. But anyway, that was funny. That was silly. That was goofy. But that's what I love about these uh, game jolt games. It's just how goofy and silly they kind of can be. 
Um, the goofier and sillier, the better. Like, at least that had a story going through it. And I think this, they said on their thing that this was made only within a couple of days for a game jolt event or a game jam. So, to be fair, like, it, it was only created within a couple of days. So, props to you for telling a story about anxiety in the workplace um, and doing it in kind of a funny way. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Crunchy Lunch. Um, if you did, there is a link in the description for you guys to go check it out yourself. And if you enjoy this style, if you enjoy the game, if you enjoy the developers, make sure to kick in a couple of bucks to help them out. Um, all of the money really helps these developers to create bigger and better things, um, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social media in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. Popyjn.com, of course, is your one-stop shop for everything PopyJM related. All of our new merch, upcoming live events, and our premium content subscription service is all available on the website. The subscription service, you get access to hours and hours of additional content that is not found here on the YouTube channel. Highly worth checking out. Only costs the price of a coffee a month. $3 a month. Uh, but you get your first month absolutely free. So make sure you go check it out, guys. PopyJN.com. But thank you, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Peace out. And I find it so